Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Chanel unboxing. Yeah, another Chanel unboxing. <laughs> Actually, this like part of this I wasn't expecting. Um, basically, there's an item that um, I thought that I missed out on, that there was none left. Um, at buying it at the store because I really didn't want to have to go ahead and get one from a resale or anything. So yeah, this is this is actually a surprise to me because um, I was able to get it at my um, local Chanel store. So before I dive into today's video, if you are new to my channel and you love all things luxury, then I would love if you would hit that subscribe button below and also the bell so you can be notified when I upload new videos. So all right, we're going to start off with the Chanel uh, beauty item. So I have a couple of bags here. Well, I have one box and then one one bag. Um, so the items here, there's a bit of a mixture. I've got items that I got from my personal shopper, um, items that I managed to get from the Chanel store in Australia, um, you know, Chanel beauty store. Um, and then there's an item here that I actually ended up having to get on eBay. So um, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm not going to start off with this. I'm going to start off with the stuff that's in this bag because this has actually got like the most coveted items from the Chanel Factory 5 collection. Now, I did actually do a um, reveal on my channel like a while back of some of the Chanel Factory 5 items that I ended up getting. Um, those were the ones that I actually ended up getting in Australia. However, um, what happened was uh, with Sydney, we were in lockdown, so no one could buy from Sydney. So they actually shipped extra stock to some of the other stores around Australia. Then I was able to get some more stock from um, one of the Chanel stores in Australia. So that's why I've now got some more items and I managed to get some backups as well, but I'm not really gonna reveal the backups because you don't need to know that I'm crazy and went and got backups. Um, but yeah, in this bag, I've got mostly my items that I got from my personal shopper and then the one item that I got on eBay. So I got from the Chanel Factory 5 collection. You know what it is. You know what I'm about to show you guys that I got. <laughs> I got the water bottle. Yep, I got the water bottle. Oh my gosh, this water bottle. So much controversy. Like, so much of it. I've seen in the Facebook groups, someone had bought, like, legit about... 20 bottles and she posted a photo with these 20 bottles. I think that they were actually gifts. Like I think that she had actually bought them as gifts for her family or something. Um, but it caused such an uproar. People were so mad. From what I was noticing, that was like the people that were buying like a lot of stock and then reselling it. Um, I seen that more in like Europe. So I don't know if in Europe there are a lot of people that missed out. Like I don't know the level of demand, but I do know that in like USA and in Australia, a lot of people were getting really bothered that they weren't able to get their hands on this. And yeah, obviously I wasn't able to get my hands on it at the retail price. I ended up buying this on eBay with one of those like mesh, the mesh bag that you get for free once you got like a certain amount of items. So I bought them in a bundle and I paid like almost $400 Australian for them. But then I ended up just selling off that mesh bag. So in the end, it worked out that I paid about $250. $250 Australian. That's pretty much what it worked out that I paid for this. So that is double the retail price, which is what I was okay with. I was okay to pay double the retail price. That was pretty much my threshold and then no more than that. So I'm glad that I at least got it. Um, yes, I paid over retail, but at least I didn't go absolutely crazy and pay too much over retail for it. However, I'm going to say this, you know, it's not fantastic. Like it's really just, um, like a silicon sleeve over the glass bottle and then this is just printed on. So um, I have dropped it already. It didn't break because this silicon sleeve kind of protects it. But I can tell that based on like this rubberized silicon, if you were to put this in the dishwasher, even if you were to wash it and you were to wash this label too much, it's going to wear away. If this label has friction against your handbag or rubbing against anything, it's going to wear away. So I don't know like if I'll actually even use it as a drink bottle. Maybe I will. Um, I'm thinking about getting like one of those drink bottle holders. I'll put a picture on the screen of the one I'm thinking about getting and I'll leave a link to it down below because I'll be pretty pissed off if it did rub away. Otherwise, I was just thinking of just putting it on display in my closet. So, yeah. But, yeah, that is the elusive Chanel water bottle. I'm probably not the best owner for it because I know I'm super duper clumsy. Um, like I said, I already dropped it once. So, that's terrible. My record is breaking, like, six bowls in one go. So, good luck to me. Um, now, the other items that I got, these are from my personal shopper in Italy. So, I did have to pay slightly over retail for them. Not too much, but, you know, it is what it is. The first item is this shower gel. 
so the shower gel in like the dishwashing liquid bottle this is actually refillable which is great so I can just chuck any old shower gel inside this bottle to have a bougie looking shower gel bottle in my bathroom uh, the other item is the shower gel this is actually um, looks like it's in a paint tin but it's got the little shower gel pieces on it unfortunately it's got a little bit of like mark on it so that's a little bit bit shitty but you can hardly really see it it's just like a little bit of like a blue mark but whatever the other item that's in this bag is also the bath tin uh the but yeah the bath tin with the bath tablets inside this is actually like a tin whereas this is more of a like like it feels more like a really hard cardboard like the lids tin but this actually feels like a cardboard whereas this is like a full-on tin so this is much much better quality this actual um container for the bath tablets now uh, by the time i've uploaded this video the chanel number no. five collection would be completely over i'm pretty sure that it's probably going to be removed from the website um, now the other items some more chanel beauty these are mostly from i think this not all from factory five but there is like it is mostly from the factory five collection so this has come from within australia this collection mm, smells so good all right start off with this one so this is uh, this is an item that's actually not from the factory 5 collection this is actually the hydra beauty uh lip mask so i wanted something really nourishing for my lips because i have notoriously dry lips in winter and um and i find that even though i put on lip balm a lot it's just not enough so i wanted to give this a go so this is the nourishing lip care so that's that um, anything that's available, I will link it down below, especially the Hydra Beauty range. I find that it's really amazing in terms of hydration. I have some of their skincare products, but this is the first time I'm going to be trying their lip mask. It's a nice screw lid and that's how it looks. This is the Chanel number no. five soap. All right, so that is what the soap looks like inside. It is the body lotion in the, um, pouch. Um, but yeah, that is the Chanel body cream. I love, I love this tube. Like I know it's not going to be reusable, but I just love like the tube, how it looks like it, I don't know, like, it just looks cool. You know, the paint, like a big, massive paint tube. And the last one that I got is the, uh, number five deodorant. So this is actually not a part of the collection, but it was actually a limited edition deodorant. So yeah, um, that is it. That's the Chanel Beauty items that I picked up, mostly from the Factory 5 collection. Now, moving on to the big one. The big, the most expensive item, for sure. This particular piece was from Chanel 21A collection. Now, I have grabbed a couple items to bring into this part of the unboxing for this baby right here. Uh, so this is actually from Chanel 21A and I did go crazy at Ch uh, for Chanel 21A, Metier Da. I just, there was just so much there that I really liked. Um, and I ended up getting, you know, the gray, the gray mini flap with the top handle. Um, the cocoa handle in the Rose Claire in the small size. However, there was a bag that I did want in that collection as well. And um, I thought like... I didn't put my name on the wait list for it because I tried to be good and just get the gray one. But then by the time I decided I wanted it as well, um, it, it was pretty much too late. The store knew that they weren't, that they weren't going to be getting any more, any more stock. Then I seen during the Sydney lockdown that for some reason, even though we're actually technically in 21B collection at the time of, you know, filming this video, we're supposed to be uh, at fall winter act one. But this item just suddenly appeared um at both the sydney stores and i couldn't believe it i was absolutely shocked because it's not even from that collection it's from the previous collection and it's pretty like it's not common that bags come from the previous collection when they're in an actual current collection like it just doesn't really happen so i don't know what happened and why it did why both stores ended up getting it but uh let me just open this up because i don't want to like open it you know, and rip it because I haven't actually done an unboxing for Instagram yet. So yeah, um, 21A collection. Color that I wanted, but it wasn't the top of the list. The gray one was definitely at the top of the list. But as time went on, I just kept getting more and more like fear that I was never going to get it. And I was like, damn, I'm going to end up having to go in the resale market if I want it. But then by that point, I was like, you know what, I'm just, I didn't want to go in the resale market because I feel like this, I feel like this color does come back in some way with Chanel. So I just really didn't want to pay personal shopper fees. I really didn't want to pay a premium in the resale. I didn't want to do it. Um, 
even though there was an opportunity to buy this pretty much at the retail price and only pay the shipping because someone had bought it before it went up in price I still was like nah I don't want to do it. I don't know. I just kind of feel like, you know, anyways, I'll show you the bag. I'll show you the bag. So you can understand why I was like, something like this will come back around anyway. But I am now glad that I got it. All right. So from Chanel Metier Dar, I picked up the beautiful beige mini rectangular in color code. I think it's NC632. Um, this is such a stunning beige. Like this beige is exactly my kind of beige. However, like I said, Chanel does like do beiges fairly, you know, fairly regularly. Like it's not in the mini flap. Obviously the mini flap is seasonal, uh, but I feel like beige is a color that comes around fairly, you know, maybe often than some other colors do. So I was like, you know what? I didn't want to pay the reseller cost. I didn't want to pay like personal shopper fee. I didn't want to do that. I kind of just felt like at peace with myself that if I didn't get it from the store, it was okay. But then I got it from the store. I got it from Sydney. It just came into stock all of a sudden randomly and I had to have it because I love this beige. I feel like this is my perfect beige. Saying that though, there could have been another perfect beige again later on, but I'm pretty fussy when it comes to beiges. I don't like something that's too yellow um, because I feel like it can kind of clash a bit with my skin tone. Um, I, I mean, I still would get a yellowy beige, but it's just not my preference. It's not my preference. Uh, my preference is more for like that warm kind of pinky undertone in the beige. Beiges that have yellow undertones, like because I have yellow undertone skin, I feel like it kind of just can wash me out a bit. Whereas this can brings out a little bit more like warmth. I don't know. That's just how I kind of feel when I like wear like even though I went, to, even when I went to Dior, I tried on one of their beiges that was in a yellow undertone and my sales associate um, was like, yeah, it washes you out a bit. So yeah, I'm not, I must not be the only one that kind of sees that. So the retail price on the mini rectangular is $6,250. Um, the top handle though, it was originally in 21A. It was first at the price of $6,350. I think it was $6,300. Something like that. But it's now gone up to like $6,690. So, um, yeah, they had a price increase kind of midway through Metier Da, and that actually put up the pricing of this of this bag. So that's why I was like, one of these did become available in the top handle. Um, like it was listed on the Facebook groups and it was at that current retail price plus shipping. But I was like, you know, I just kind of was, uh, I don't know, I just didn't want to really pay that extra bit. Plus, I kind of prefer to sort of get my Chanel bags from the store, and there's a big reason for that, and that's because um, the microchip that's actually in the Chanel bag now, like any of the new bags from 21A have this um, microchip inside, and I don't know if it's like a microchip, but it's some kind of like number. I think it's an electronic number, but this number that's actually inside here on this plaque here is actually linked to your receipt and it's actually linked to your customer profile. So I prefer to buy my bags from the store because at least that way the number is actually linked to my profile. Um, you know, with warranty claims or anything like that, if something goes wrong, they can actually look up the number. They can see that you're the one that bought the bag, when you bought it and that kind of thing. So I feel like that's just a more of a transparent process. I also feel like Chanel has implemented this, you know, electronic tagging um, to perhaps stamp out resellers because if they're seeing that, um, you know, uh, if someone's bringing back a bag to the store and it's not being bought by them, they've bought it from someone else. And maybe if they keep seeing the same repeat name coming up in the system, I don't know, maybe that will be able to, you know, flag who is just constantly selling their bags or whatnot. I don't know. Um, maybe that's kind of just a speculation thing, but I kind of feel like that might be the way that they're going in because with Louis Vuitton, even though they have their microchips, they're not actually linked to the customer profile. They just work the same way as a date code. So the sales associate can scan it and see the date on it when it was issued, but they don't actually link to the customer profile. Whereas Chanel, their ones actually link to the customer. So, uh, yeah, the beige mini rectangular. Love it. It's with gold hardware as well, rather than the aged gold. So if I would have gotten it with the top handle, it would have come with that aged gold hardware there. Uh, but the mini rectangular came with the um, got, with the Chanel got classic gold hardware. It's kind of like, um, I wouldn't say it's a light gold. It's just an actual gold hardware in my opinion. Um, I think that one of my other bags is with light gold. I don't know. Actually, is this a light gold or is this a gold? I can't really tell. Is it? 
Light gold, gold. Yeah, I feel like this, the Coca Handle must be in the light gold hardware because it looks like obviously lighter gold. And this one's in the actual proper full on like gold hardware. So, yes, um, I don't think that there's really anything else I have to sort of show you because I feel like everyone's pretty familiar in terms of like the mini flap, like back, side, strap. Like, um, yeah, everyone's pretty familiar. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say is that I did get a clip, one of the clips. All right, so these little clips you can actually use um, to adjust the strap to make it like just into a shoulder bag. They only had silver, so I had to get a silver hardware. If you are after like one of these clips and you don't have a classic flap in your like purchasing profile, they probably won't issue you one. However, I do sell like pretty much an exact image of this clip you know because it doesn't have any hardware engraving on it like it doesn't have any engraving on it either like it literally has no link to chanel on the actual hardware there's no engraving no stamping whatsoever so i sell um these generic clips on my accessories store and i sell them in pairs so if you're based in australia or even if you're based international um, and you're wanting to get some clips to adjust the strap of your uh, mini flaps or any of your classic flaps whatever it may be i'll leave a link to it down below so basically you just underneath the bag from the points of where the strap is connected to the actual leather you just get this clip so you twist it so so that's the open position of the clip and then that's the the straps which you do you just pull them in together at, from there to there and then you just put the clip through the chain, the actual links of the chain, not the leather, through the actual links of the chain. Like so. Like that. And then you close it up. And that's how you can shorten the strap. So yeah. If you wanted to use it like just on the shoulder or even if you wanted to wear it like much higher, you can just position this clip even further down the chain. Like say you wanted to have it there and just have it like a baguette style. You can do that as well. So I will leave a link down below to the clips that I sell in my accessory store. But you know, if you have a classic flap on your profile, then, um, you know, you can ask to get one at the store, providing that you have actually bought a classic flap before, then they will give it to you. I think that, I don't know how long they would date back like, like if they'll just give it to you if you've bought it before or if they will only issue it to you if you bought one recently. I really don't know. That is all for this video. Um, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.